learn a little bit about Buffalo history right now. At this point, we are all familiar with all the festivities happening recently this summer at Larkin Square, but it didn't always look like it does today. One Western New York native is telling the story set in the surroundings of South Buffalo and the Larkin District in the 1950s. We are joined right now by Tom Dudzik, who wrote Over the Tavern, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary after originally premiering at Studio Arena Theater in 1994. We also have Larkin Square Director of Fun, Leslie Zensky, joining us on the couch this morning. Tom, this play has become known around the world, and it was set right in this area of Buffalo. I, I can't, be, I can't believe it. It's my, my story, my little childhood fighting with the nuns, and uh, suddenly it's taken off. People relate to it. Uh, there's an Irish version. It was done in Cork City, Ireland. Broke the box office record. <laughs> Uh, so I'm having a ball, and finally I get to come back and direct the 20th anniversary production. I'm, I'm like on top of the world. And this it's, is really based on your childhood growing up in South Buffalo. Your house sits where Larkinville sits today. Yeah, my, your, my your house, house did sit. It's sat. It yeah, sat Big here. Joe Dudzik's Tavern. It's knocked down. It's a parking lot now. But there's a plaque. The city put a plaque in the sidewalk commemorating my father's tavern and the play over the taverns. Ah, there it is. And yeah. Leslie, you tweeted this picture out yes. this morning <laughs> from the Larkin Square account. This spot, 770 Seneca Street, stood the tavern mm -hmm. where the play takes place. Mm -hmm. What does that make you feel to see that plaque there? Strange. <laughs> Strange. It's like I was walking, I was in London once. I'm walking down the street and I see this plaque. Captain Bly lived here, and it's the same kind of thing. You know, now Something I want important to, Tom, must have happened yeah. here if they put a plaque, right? Yeah, it's weird. So 20 it's... years ago, you wrote this play about your childhood growing up, mm -hmm. um, a, a story that probably resonates with a lot of people that grew up in South Buffalo in the 1950s. Should I get confirmed or not? Your relationship <laughs> with your Catholic school teachers and the yeah, nuns. Yeah. Um, what made you want to write it? Because all these years, uh, from, from high school through college, after that, telling my friends the stories about growing up. And they'd laugh, and they'd laugh, and then finally, and I was a playwright by this time, I thought, all right, I gotta cut out the nonsense. I've gotta write this down. This has to be a play. Uh, it, it's, there's no two ways about it. And then I just did, I just got it all out on paper. And over the years, I edited it, and then Studio Arena, bless their hearts, they picked it up. 1994, it premieres. 2014, it's still being performed around the yeah. world. Yeah, Studio Arena did three seasons in a row. I just Buffalonians can't get enough of it. It's like Buffalo's favorite play. And Thank you're bringing you, Buffalo. it back. Where will it be next? Here in Buffalo, mm -hmm. Cavanoke Theater on the, on the Duville campus. Yeah, uh, September 12th we open. And is it the same script, or have you ad adjusted it and adapted it over uh, the years? Uh, I did. Uh, <laughs> I did a little bit of editing, but it's just pretty much what they saw 20 years ago in Buffalo. Yeah. And you're visiting us today because Leslie has invited you to reintroduce the yeah. Larkin author series. Perfect timing with people going back to school, right, Leslie? Yes. Yeah, so we take a little hiatus in the summers. Everyone knows we're yeah, so busy with the events, vacation. but now yeah. September the events do continue and we've added um, the author series back in. So I can't think of a more perfect way Tom kicks it <laughs> off. We have a lot of expat Buffalo, Buffalonians coming back. We have Dr. Mike Roizen, who people know the books with Dr. Oz coming in two weeks, and Laura Patterson in three weeks, who is also a playwright in New York and has written a Buffalo-based book, Buffalo Gal. So it's, it's an oh, overriding theme of the year. Great. Celebrating wow. where we came from yeah. and also yeah. all the places that you've been. Buffalo is a launching pad for so many talented people, and Larkin Square is as well at this point. So the yeah. author series kicks off Monday with you. Yeah. People can come reminisce about their childhood in South Buffalo or learn a little bit more about yours and your play and where it's taking you throughout the years. Yeah. All right. They can also hear the song I wrote about Buffalo. And we're going to hear that coming up at the end of today's <laughs> edition of Winging at Buffalo South. So you better go warm up, OK? We'll yeah. close the green room doors. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Let's toss things back out to Emily Lenahan now. It's time for our next icon check of the morning. How's it going out there? I'm still born. We're going to toss things over to Tom Dudzik right now. He wrote a song all about Buffalo Pride along with his play over the tavern. And he's going to play us into the break right now. Catch him Monday at Live at Larkin at the Author Series. Buffalo, I'm singing about Buffalo. I'm swinging by the town that beats them all hands down. Oh, Buffalo girls, won't you let me tell you about Buffalo? Cincinnati, but Buffalo beat me daddy. Eight to the bar, you can travel far and near. But right here, you got Allentown and Kaisertown, First Ward and Riverside. A melting pot is what we got that cannot be denied. Hockey games and Polish names, that's why we love it so. Oh, Broadway, Dingus Day, and did we mention snow? Moon oh, Buffalo, what a city that Buffalo. It's a pity if you don't live here, I'll shed a tear. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you let me tell you about Buffalo? 
reeling on the ball, Buffalo, look at City Hall, solid as a rock on Niagara Square, right down there, you got Jim Mills Theaters, Overeaters, chomping Chicken Wings, Hot Kilbasi, Krupnik, Pachki, all them ethnic things, you betcha, Cajun soul food, rock and roll food, food up to your neck, and before you die, you gotta try, the mighty beef on whack, heck, Buffalo, what a city that Buffalo, it's a pity if you don't live here, I'll shed a tear. Oh, Buffalo, I already did that part. Hey. Take the 290 to the 190, then the 90 to the turdy tree. The 198 is really great, cause it's fun to say. Skagiquetta. Orchard Park, after dark, it's a thrill. So is Larkinville, Sloan, Hamburg, D, Pew, R, Swell. Don't forget Blaisdell. There's more, all bright Knox is cool, Cassie has a pool, grain elevators rule, and the waterfront is almost finished. Buffalo, you can get your thrills, Buffalo, when you watch the bills, sing this song and you can't go wrong, oh Buffalo gals, I'm trying to tell you, you can look on any map, you're a schnook, and you're a sap if you build your nest in anything less, less than the best. Oh, give me a home where Buffalonians roam. I just can't get enough of Buff. I'll see you in BU. F F A L.